opponents of this uh, of this waiver being revoked say that this is a violation of states' rights, that individual states are sovereign entities who should have uh, the capacity to make their own standards even separate from federal standards. What's the White House response to that? Sure. The, the Trump administration is huge fans of federalism. Uh, we don't think that this federalism principle applies when you're dealing with regulating interstate commerce. Uh, the constitutional system was set up in part to deal with states bullying other states economically. And as a result, our founders put a system in place to ensure that Congress regulates interstate commerce. Our actions this week at Department of Transportation and the Environmental Protection Agency are to more closely abide with the law and not allow California to have its own system and bully the rest of the country into having a higher mandated system that costs American families uh, $3,000 that, that they can't afford. Uh, we think it's crucial. We don't think this is in any way something that uh, uh, disallows California from protecting their environment generally. Uh, th they've had a, a robust program since the early 70s, but as it pertains to the action of President Obama in 2013, we're, we're moving back that and, and overturning that waiver. Remember, President Obama is the one that ran on the concept of having energy prices necessarily skyrocket, uh, both on electricity, about coal, and now cars. And the whole point was that he wanted human beings and families to use less of each. That's not the view of the Trump administration. We want people to have cheap, safe, affordable, and better cars. That's why this week is the first part of that action. We'll be working on future regulation to actually lower uh, the national cafe standards, emission standards for cars generally. Right, so if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, and I think you've been very clear here, this is, this is mostly about the consumer. This will benefit the consumer in the sense that um, they'll be able to drive newer cars which with updated safety regulations because they'll be able to purchase cars more frequently because the price will be down, it will be decreased again. When do you expect consumers to be able to uh, see that decrease in price for a new car? It'll probably happen over time. Uh, that's the challenge with these big mandates is that it, ensure, it means that the designs of cars are having to be uh, tailored to meet this, the, the overall standards that the federal government in California has put in place. We want to have markets to be able to, to shape and ensure that people have options. So if you want to buy a smaller car, uh, you have that choice. But I'm, a, I'm a, a father and a husband, and when I put my girls on the road, I want them to be in the closest thing to a tank so that they're safe. And I want to be able to sh ensure that we have the opportunity to, to purchase the, 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 the most recent safety, innovative uh, systems uh, as it pertains to uh, the emission standards as possible and to do it at the, at the lowest cost and have that choice. We think that that's what this debate is all about. We're excited uh, to move forward this week and in the coming uh, weeks as we, as we uh, turn our attentions to the final regulation.